If you're looking for the best WordPress website hosting solution that comes with a free domain name and free secure key at a surprisingly low price, then you've come to the right place. Hello, I'm Yoda and welcome to my YouTube channel. To get started, the only hard cost we have is web hosting and that's where your website lives and that's going to run us 3 to $10 a month. With your web hosting, you'll get a free domain, a value of $15, as well as an SSL key, which makes your web pages secure, and that has a value of about $99. Now, during this course, if you run into any troubles, just leave a comment below the video, and I'll be more than happy to assist you. And don't be shy about asking for help. I've been a webmaster instructor, aka the Web Yoda, for over 20 years, and I love to hear from my students. But if you could, please pay it forward. If you could like the video, subscribe to the video, share the video, tell your friends about the video. Those are the kind of things that help get the word out there so other students like you can find this video. Finding great web hosting solutions in the matrix of hundreds of choices can be frustrating at best. You have to understand that nearly all web hosting review sites make sure that the web hosting company they are affiliated with always get the best review. So basically that web hosting company is number one to them because they get paid if you decide to use that company. I have been hosting websites for over 30 years with the first five years being me supplying my own hosting. I have used at least 10 of the hosting companies shown here either personally or for my clients. Obviously not all web hosting companies are created equal and there are only a few that stand out from the rest. But how do you reveal the best web hosting provider with all the fake reviews out there? As puzzling as this might sound, I was able to find my answer while not allowing my own bias to interfere. For me, I like to turn problems inside out. In this case, I was looking for the web hosting review that reveals a web hosting company that sucks the least. So first, the quick answer to the question of who is the best web hosting company for me is simple. Hands down, it's HostGator. HostGator is definitely the best web hosting solution for me, my clients, and for Web Yoda. But the obvious next question is, why is HostGator the best choice? Well, Web Yoda did some research to try to find some authentic web hosting reviews, and they settled on some results from PC Magazine. You have to understand that PC Magazine has been around for nearly 40 years, providing essential technology information to the end user. For our purposes, every year PC Magazine does an Editor's Choice Award to determine the best web hosting companies. And shown here are the top six web hosting companies for this year, with HostGator being number one. It turns out that HostGator has been rated the number one web hosting provider by PC Magazine for many years running. Basically, HostGator collectively has the features you need. Their server reliability is amazing, their 24-7 support is amazing, their prices are good or better than anybody out there. I personally have been using HostGator for more than three years now. I host over 200 domains and websites with them. WebYoda also decided to go with HostGator for all their needs. In fact, WebYoda partnered with HostGator, and as part of that partnership, WebYoda students receive up to 75% off plus a free domain name. Now for you to take advantage of this offer, you simply need to go to your browser and type in HostGator.com front slash WebYoda. Now this takes you to the partner page for HostGator and WebYoda, and it reveals our three choices for hosting plans. And just so you know, once you complete purchasing your web hosting, you will be directed to a new YouTube video I did on how to build your own professional website in 90 minutes time. Currently, as part of this partnership, HostGator is going to offer us a free domain name provided we sign up for one of their annual plans, and it turns out this is actually the most affordable choice for us. If we scroll down, we can reveal the pricing for each of the plans. All three of the plans come with one-click installs. So that means when we go to install the software, it's going to allow us to build our website. We can just click a link and it'll install everything for us. They also come with unmetered bandwidth, which means we don't pay for the traffic that comes to our website, no matter how small or large that might be. And finally, they also come with a free SSL certificate, which typically runs around $99 a year. And you say, okay, what is that? What do I need that for? Well, that's that little lock up here in the top left. It allows your page to be secure so that the information going to and from your website is secure. At this point, you need to decide which one of the plans is best for you. For our purposes, I'd recommend the hatching plan if you have one domain, or the baby plan if you plan on building multiple websites. And then if later you find you need additional features, you can just upgrade to the business plan and pay the difference. So in your case, you probably need the hatching plan, which is just a single domain, so we'll choose that. So our first step is to pick a domain name. In our case, we're going to pick create-a-blog.com. I'm using that domain name in this video just as an example, but we do have a course on how to create your own blog for free as well. Now notice here the .com is already there, and if we click to the right, it'll tell us if it is available. And in our case, it is available. So we're going to scroll down. The next item is domain privacy protection, and basically what they'll do is for $14.95 a year, they'll hide your name, your address, your information, like your email and stuff like that, from people being able to see it. 
Now, for me, it's going to be on the website anyway, so I don't feel like I'm giving anything away, so I'm not going to choose to pay for that. Next, we already picked our package type. We chose the hatching plan because we only have one domain, so we want to look at our billing cycle. Within the billing cycle, if you purchase one month, it's $5.48, but it's only for that first month, and then the price goes up. If you go all the way up to 36 months, it's going to be $2.71, and it's going to be 61% off. Now, to get the free domain, you're going to have to pick 12 months, 24 months, or 36 months. So let's go ahead and pick the 12 months. It says $76.40, but let's see if we can do a little bit better than that. Now, we're going to pick a username. In my case, I'm going to pick Admin Yoda and a security pin. Then we want to put in our billing information. Now, we'll scroll down to Additional Services. Now, we don't need any of these services, but I'll explain them real quickly. The first is an SSL certificate. We already get that for free, so we don't need to add that. The second is for them to protect us from hackers. I know firsthand they're going to give you protection whether you ask for it or not, so there's no reason to pay for this additional thing. They're going to want to protect their servers from both the Internet and from you, so they're going to definitely stay on top of this. Next, we don't need to pay for an email for our domain name. I'm going to show you how to make an email forward for your domain at no cost at all. Next, they offer a backup service where it'll do daily backups, but I know firsthand they do monthly backups for you. And also, if you click on this link at the very top up here, I'll go ahead and give you a video that'll show you how to make your own backups without having to pay them a regular fee like that. We'll turn that off. If WebYoda is not in the box, go ahead and type that in so we can get the best possible price. Now, notice down here our price is $31. That's basically 75% off and a free domain name. So that's pretty good. Also remember, this comes with a 45-day money-back guarantee in case you change your mind. Now, all we need to do is agree to their terms and choose Check Out Now. Now that your payment is complete, HostGator is getting your account ready for you. Now your hosting account is complete and you're ready to access your hosting account. Next, just proceed to your email account and look for an email from HostGator.com that has your account information. If you purchase a domain name while setting up your HostGator account, then the next piece of information will not apply to you. If you already owned your domain name and didn't purchase one with this process, you're going to need to get your domain name to point to your hosting area. To do that, you need to point your domain name to the name servers for HostGator. All of my domain names live at GoDaddy.com, so I needed to go into the DNS at my GoDaddy account and point that domain to the HostGator name servers as shown here. Now, if you're not using GoDaddy.com, it should be a similar process, and if you have any trouble, just contact your domain company and they can give you further assistance. To log into our hosting account, we're going to need our username and we're going to need a password. We're going to take that password and we're going to copy it to the clipboard. And now you want to go to the control panel, which is how you access your hosting space. So we'll click on this link, and that takes us to the control panel login page. Now my username and password are already there, so I can just choose Login. And that takes you to the home page for your HostGator control panel, also referred to as cPanel by some people. As promised, I'm going to show you how to make your own email forward so you don't have to pay for email. So what you're looking for is Email Forwards option. It could be under your popular links, and if you don't see it there, you can click on Email on the left. That brings up all the email options, and you choose Email Forwards there. From this screen, you choose Add a Forward. In this case, it's going to be Comments. And I'm going to pick my domain. Now, you probably only have one domain instead of a potload of them like I do. And I'm looking for createablog.com. And now, what email do I want it to go to? In my case, it's going to go to my Gmail. Click on Add a Forward. And our email forward is complete. Now, let's go back to our HostGator control panel. And we're ready to install WordPress so we can get our blog going. So we're going to choose WordPress Installer. Now we need to choose our domain again. So we'll choose our blog domain. We'll hit Next. We'll give it a blog title. In this case, create a blog. And Yoda user. Yoda. Yoda. And Yoda. It'll automatically create a database, do all the work for us. We need to accept their terms. Hit install. This process takes maybe 15 seconds. Now our installation is complete. At this point, we're probably going to have to take a small break, and that's because we just set up a hosting account that has a new domain. The hosting's immediately available, but the domain takes a while to propagate across the internet so that it's able to be accessed. To test to see if your domain's ready, the first step is to open a new tab so you don't lose access to the username and password of what we just set up. Now go to your domain name. And if your domain's not ready, you'll get a message that says this site cannot be reached. 
So you'll likely need to take a break for about two hours and then come back again and go back to your domain and refresh and see if it works. When it's ready, you'll get a page that looks like this one that says website coming soon. So let's go ahead and close that test tab. Now we're looking at our control panel again. So we're going to choose the password. Copy that to the clipboard because you can't possibly remember that. Click login now. And then from here, put in the username and password. In my case, Yoda user. And here's that new password. And log in. I don't want to save it right now. And they're asking you, is your email correct? Yes, it is. Now the first thing we want to do is give ourselves a new password. So we'll close that little advertisement there. Always going to be advertisements. So we're going to close that one and close that one. So we're going to go to users. Click on my user. And near the bottom is where we can do our password. Generate password. And I'm going to hide it. And I'm going to put whatever I want it to be. And if for some reason you picked a weak password, you simply have to confirm that you understand it is update your profile and from here if we go up to this corner we can log out and we're back to our login screen well one of the questions is how do you get to your login screen the answer to that is go to your domain name front slash wp dash admin and hit enter and that'll get you back to your login page so let's put in our username again and our new password and now click login and now it logs us in with our new password. At this point, you're ready to start building your website. So either click on the link at the top or go back to my channel and find the video that has this picture. Now, I truly hope I covered everything you needed in this tutorial. Now, if there was something I didn't mention or you had additional questions, please leave them below. I'd be more than happy to answer them for you. But if I don't know the answer, I'll go, hey, I don't know. But if I do know the answer, I can find the answer, I'll give it to you, and maybe we can work on it together. So I really enjoy doing this. I hope you had a great time as well. The only real payment I'm looking for, if I could possibly get a subscribe out of this, possibly a like out of this, that'd be super helpful. But outside of that, I just hope you have a great day. Peace out.